G'day, in today's video, this is gonna be a bit of a different one. This is gonna be um, a bit of a yarn about the 2020 bushfires in Australia. Now these fires in 2020 were huge. I'm talking massive. They were the biggest bushfires we've ever had in recorded history here in this country. They ranged from places up near Nowra in New South Wales on the coast, all the way down south into Lakes Entrance and that, those areas in Victoria. I'm talking about 700 kilometers of coastline destroyed, all up into the hills, all up into the mountains, burnt to a crisp. To put it in perspective, for the people in Western Australia, imagine driving from Perth to Kalgoorlie and every strip on the side of the road burnt. People in Queensland from Rockhampton to Sunshine Coast. This is how big it was. It covered 12 million hectares of bushland and forest, predominantly public land, like national parks and state forests. That's bigger than some countries in Europe. Now that bushfire was three years ago, and you would think that the forests have regenerated, but they haven't. Look at the devastation still from those fires. Now those fires burned so hot and so fast that it has done two things to the bush. It has destroyed the canopy and the canopy three years later has not grown back. And because the canopy hasn't grown back, the underbrush now is so thick, it's six, eight, 10, 12 foot high in places. And when it dries out in the next drought, it will be a tinderbox only resulting in a faster, more aggressive, hotter fire in the future. Not only has it affected the natural environment, the fire has also affected the infrastructure for us to go out and see these forests. For the last three years, there's been areas closed off to the public, like fire trails and roads, and places of interest like campgrounds, caves, lookouts, swimming holes, waterfalls, uh, walking tracks, and so on. So this is not a healthy forest. It's not a healthy national park. And in my opinion, in the cooler months, we have to backburn. We have to adopt those practices that the Aboriginal people of Australia have been doing for thousands of years and burn all this underbrush. This will regenerate all the native species, all the gums, all the natural grasses, the ferns, and allow animals to thrive. I make this video because I love the bush and I know my kids are gonna love the bush. If you like this video, talk about it with your mates. Talk about the 2020 bushfires and even jump in your car and go for a drive around the southeast. And you'll be surprised on what the bush looks like still three years after the fire. And if you can't do that, well then share this video with your mates. Share it on social media and get people talking about having the bush healthy as it should. Thanks.